guys. What's going on? It's your girl, God. A little bit of gameplay info for you guys. I'm playing some Domination on Cargo. The best map ever. Not said no one ever. This map is just, oh, it's horrific. There's so many places to lay down on and, you know, get up on top of and sneak around. I just, I cannot stand it. So, um, but I'm playing Domination, running solo, story of my life. And no offense to the people that I play with quite often, but, you know, they just don't play as often as I do. They're just not as hardcore of a gamer as I am. So, you know, no no disrespect. Don't get butt hurt. Calm your tits. So, um, but I will leave my gamer tag in the description below. I sound like a complete loner, but I'm going to leave my gamer tag in the description below. So if you guys ever just want to play or whatever, make sure and send me a message or send me a friend request and yeah, maybe we can hook up sometime. So, um, also about this gameplay, I had a lot of downtime in it. There was just certain parts that I had to cut out and stop, you know, cut out and stuff. So of course I'm from Texas. We chop and screw everything. So, um, I just try to make, you know, make it a little bit more entertaining for you guys. So, all right. I love gaming. I absolutely love gaming. I love Call of Duty. Love it. But I feel like, in a way, YouTube killed gaming for me. Back in the day, let's say even four or five years ago, I would play nonstop. There would be times, there would be little phases that I went through that I would play from sundown to sunup. I would play you know, 12, 15 hours in a row. And I just don't do that anymore. You know, I know that I'm in a different time in my life, but it's just not the same feeling that I had, you know, especially like when Call of Duty 4 came out, I played nonstop. It was all the time. So I feel like in some aspect, YouTube killed gaming for me. Back in the day when I would play, I had no idea what lag was. No clue. None whatsoever. I had no idea of all these technical terms. I didn't know anything. I would go out. I would buy a game. If I liked it, awesome. If I didn't like it, hmm, I'd take it back or I'd return it or I'd, you know, trade it in or I'd just put it and leave it, you know, leave it on the shelf for a year and then go back to it or something. I had no clue. I didn't even think twice about it. But now it's just not the same. You know, I'm constantly looking for the next good gameplay, looking to hit another clip. And in some ways, I feel like it's killed gaming for me. It's just crazy. I just didn't think like that back then. Like I said, I didn't know all the technical terms. I had no clue about any of this stuff. I would just play just to play. Now, I know on my end that that's my fault in some aspects because people should just play just because they enjoy it. You know what I mean? Don't worry about hitting the clip. Don't worry about gameplay. And sometimes I have to remind myself, and I feel like sometimes when when it gets to that point that you're looking at this as a job and you have to do it, that's when I felt like I got to the point where I was feeling like I was getting, you know, burnt out. It just seems like it was all about the gameplay, all about the gameplay, you know? Now, don't get me wrong. I love YouTube, and I love the fact how I've got to meet new people. I love, you know, having game reviews and, you know, this, that, and the other. I love having a platform, you know, that we gamers can express our ideas and express our opinions and our concerns over whatever games. I love that, you know, and I can just be me and I can express my, you know, my opinion about a, you know, a review or I can, what have you, but it's just like, it's not the same love that I have. Like I said, I appreciate the fact that we do have a platform that we can, you know, express our opinions and stuff, but in the other area, it's just not the same. You know, it's constantly worried about, you know, how good this video is going to be, how good this gameplay is going to be. And, you know, is this, you know, and one of my things is like, oh, man, this is a really great, you know, really great gameplay. I'm going to use this. This is commentary worthy, you know, and it's just like it's just not the same love. Now, like I said, you know, I do appreciate that we have YouTube and I think it's just so fantastic, but it's just not the same love that I had. It was back in the day when I didn't know anything. And if a if a game was great, it was great. You know, and sometimes occasionally I would look in Game Informer and I'd read the reviews, you know, and but I always took it upon myself to go ahead and get the game, you know, and that way I could have my own opinion. And sometimes now it's like before a game even comes out, people already have access to it. You already hear really great things or horrible things. And it's just like it's just not the same, you know. So basically, that's what I wanted to know. Did YouTube kill gaming for you? Do you feel like it's a different, complete different love now? Do you feel like it turned into a job for you at some point? I know that I had some issues a while back where I felt like I was just playing 
just for commentaries or just to get good gameplay or, you know, what have you. And I feel like that's kind of why I've switched over to Twitch because I don't feel like there's so much pressure on me. You know, I feel like I can still have the interaction with people, but I also get to have, you know, the love that I have for this game. I don't have to worry about the commentaries. I don't have to worry about the gameplay. I can just interact with people and I can just have fun, you know, like it used to be. So basically that's what I wanted to know. Did YouTube kill gaming for you or do you appreciate YouTube? Do you feel like it's the greatest thing ever? You know, I know it's a place that you can express your opinions, but along the way, did you lose your love for gaming? That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.